the 5 Eyewitness News Studios, it's Twin Cities Live, your official show for summer, with your hosts, Elizabeth Reese and Chris Eggert. Hey everybody, good afternoon. Welcome to Twin Cities Live. So nice to see you again. We're so happy you're here with us, and we have a very fun show planned for this Monday as everyone kind of recovers from the mm -hmm. long holiday weekend. Our friends from SidewalkDog.com are here, and uh, Allie has a very special dog you can adopt. Apparently this type of dog is such a big deal in ancient Japan that they they were thought to be more valuable than gold. These little woofers. I just, I met it. They Did licked, you? They licked my finger. We're How off did to it a, go? We're off to a good start. Nothing says summer fun like <laughs> corn on the cob. We give you some fresh new ideas for topping that are much more exciting than plain old butter. No offense, plain old butter. No. Because I a special. This place is interesting in my heart. for you because you you're a little uncertain about making your corn really fun and crazy. You're kind of a basics uh, kind of a guy. You know what? I don't want to jump too crazy. Get outside of the. The normal, because yeah. butter and salt and pepper is good. Are delicious. Well, we're gonna we're it's gonna proven. see. We're gonna see if our cooking expert can make it happen. I think she's pretty confident. I think it's gonna be good. So how was your fourth? Was I got a lovely text from your wife when you guys were on your way out of town, and she was like, "Happy fourth!" I could tell she was in a car driving and probably bored. <laughs> she did not stop singing the entire time. We were oh in the car. Gosh. We must have logged about 800 miles, and I had a I had to create a rule. Yeah. Um, you can sing, you can snap, you can clap, but you can't do all three at the same time <laughs> because. For a while, it was like there's all of a sudden, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so she was texting you while that was going on, yeah, too? Yeah, just one she's, nice text. She's I texted texting, her back. snapping, clapping, and singing, yes. She's the best. So you got you got to your destination. Well, tell, well, what'd you guys do first? Oh, oh just okay. hung out. It was really nice. It was super relaxing. We did, I will say, um, we have a friend who has a condo in a high-rise downtown. Uh -huh. So when there's any sort of fireworks event going George on. George and Weezy? No. <laughs> No, but I like to weasel my way over there, you know? Yeah. So it's like, hey, what you doing? Actually, he did invite us to come over. So you hung so, out in their deluxe apartment So the that's the way to live is, yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, our friend has like this amazing balcony. And what was so cool is that you can see all the fireworks um, downtown. So, you know, you see all the people oh, lined nice. up on the Stone Arch Bridge and it's just overlooking it. And then you can see, my favorite part is seeing all the fireworks from all the other cities oh, all yeah. around. So they're going like crazy. Nice. So it was just relaxing. We played tennis, you know. Wow. Like Wimbledon inspired. Nice. I'm terrible. Please don't ever say anything. If you ever see me playing tennis, act like you don't know who I am and walk We should fast. set up a doubles match sometime. That I would be am fun. terrible. I mean, Jay. As am I. And Jay is so, so competitive and so athletic that he'll, he tries to teach me, you know? Yeah. And then I'll be like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, I am trying <laughs> and I'm tired and it's hot out here. It was fun, though. But at least he didn't tell you you can't snap, clap, and sing at the he same time. He has never once said that to me. Maybe <laughs> that's after what you a few get, years of marriage. That's what you get in our marriage. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we went over. That, that sounds like fun. I wish we could have been along there for I that. I would have loved Not to have you, you along. It would have been a blast. Um, so we went on a road trip. Yep. Gettysburg, South Dakota, where the battle wasn't. <laughs> That's their city slogan. Oh, uh, for my good. grandmother's birthday party, oh which my is gosh. beautiful. How old I have is she? a couple of pictures. She turned 80. Oh well, she actually my turns goodness. 80 on uh, Wednesday, I believe. But so this is oh, a, what lovely, a cute cake. lovely cake that was transported many miles to be able to get I there. I love that. Yep. So oh my a, gosh. Happy birthday, time. Grandma. Yep, Grandma Bonnie. Congratulations. 80 years. Oh, I love that. Is she a hot mama there or um, what? Um, hello. Yeah. God, that is so cute. That hair, I love those hairstyles. Like, mm -hmm. I love seeing, like, my grandma's hairstyles from when she was young like that, too. I think that's such a cute hairstyle. It's very cute. And it was a lot of fun to get to meet a lot of the kids, got to meet some of the relatives that they never met before. And fun. so that yeah, was fun. And then, of course, there was the road trip. Yeah. Which uh, was, we were on the road a long time. I, I can so tell. So we probably logged. They're singing and snapping. We had and... logged somewhere around, like, uh, 12 to 1,400 miles on Highway 212 over the course of the last three weeks. This is my worst nightmare. So on the road I'm constantly. Not, nothing against Highway 212, just yeah. long road trips. Yeah, so we're in the car constantly, right? And so there's a deal, and I wanted to know what you and what the rest of the, the, pe the people out there, um, what the, the waving, the etiquette in, in the rural areas. Okay. Because, I mean, you, you grew up, you, didn't, you lived in the city. Apple Valley, that doesn't right. count as rural. Did, did people Although wave? it kind of once was. Do people wave, in, like when you're driving down the road no. and you're in Apple Valley, oh, do no. people wave? People in Apple Valley have places to go okay. and people to see. There's okay. no time for okay. waving. Okay, so, so, so here's the deal. So uh, growing up as a kid in South Dakota, yeah. um, my grandfather had this wave. Okay. And this was pretty much the standard South Dakota wave, right? You got your hands on the wheel, okay. you're going along, and you go like this, and you just do this. That's just a finger. That is it. And, and, and at one point in our very boring road trip yesterday, yeah. I demonstrated. <laughs> there it is. 
<laughs> you see that? Wait, do you have to furrow your brow when yes. you're doing it too, just to make sure they know you're serious? And pretend like you're not looking at your phone. Oh. So, um, <laughs> so that's the South Dakota wave, and so I put that on Facebook, and I was talking to people about it, and it sounds like in Minnesota, yeah. they did this. In rural Minnesota, they did a... Oh, four fingers. Four finger oh, wave. let's get crazy. But the key is you're not like going out of your way to wave at people. No. You know, you're just going down a dirt road. And... Oh, man. And so I was talking to Emily about this, and Emily She's says... There's a two finger wave in Iowa. <gasps> what do they do in Wisconsin? Three fingers? I don't know. Is it I crazy? have no idea. Someone but all, to what, tell us. what I do know is that of logging like 1,400 miles, you know how many people waved at me? How many? Like one. Oh, that was it. See, waving's over. The, the world has moved past it. It's Come a sad on, people. thing. people. Let's bring yeah. it back. Wave. <laughs> Okay, so this morning I was so inspired by you that you encouraged me to do something that I have wanted to do for a long time, but it was because of you that I actually did it, okay? So uh, a couple weeks ago, last week maybe? Oh yeah, yeah, when I took the bus. Chris took the bus to mm -hmm. work. So he, you know, you have a car, I have a car. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of, I'm car reliant and yep. I don't really like it that much. Yep. And so you thought, I'm gonna take the bus. And I was so impressed, so I decided, well, I don't need to take a bus because I don't live that far from work. I'm gonna bike. So I got on my bike. And I rode here, people. There I am. There's my purse in my basket where Henry normally rides. I got my TCL water bottle. Yeah, hey, I'm biking. I'm taking video while I'm biking. Hello, St. Paul. Nice to see you. Good morning. Yeah, guy on the right, or I mean on the left, you're running shirtless. You'll see him soon. And he's with his dog. And let me tell you something. It normally takes me eight minutes to get to... Here he is. Blue shorts, no shirt dog. I, I got to work in a svelte 21 minutes. That's pretty good. It takes me about eight minutes to drive. I have a convenient house location that was purchased just so that I could get to work mm -hmm. in a convenient amount of time. And that's um, not bad at all. It was amazing. Are you I felt make so great. Your deal now? I think I'm going to try to do it like one or two days a week. So yes. if I don't have something going on after work, mm -hmm. then I can just bike home. And it was so awesome. And I cruised into the parking lot and I waved to the people who were hanging out. I didn't have to find oh, a parking right. spot. Did you, did you, did no, I did full out like hello. Bars? It was awesome. So I, I do want to say this one thing. What? Uh, we are now going to do our best to cut after. down on the, uh, the, 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 the carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. But uh, we probably should not condone shooting video while you're driving no, your <clears throat> car or bike no. on the highway. No, and I was, um, I was very careful. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> See, I tried to make up an excuse I'll of why the, I wasn't I'll doing the, that, but I really was. The, yeah. The, the, but it was the, pretty good. Emails about that. I had a big day. I biked to work today yeah, for the first time, a... and then I got my first crown on my tooth. Oh. Womp, womp. There I am with Dr. Scott Shamblock. You look Shamblon. so, you look so well, happy Well, that was pre-crown. That was when I was just getting ready to go, and I was laying down, and I said, let's take a picture. Um, and I got my first crown, and it, it was good. Dr. Shamblot's amazing, first mm -hmm. of all. He's, like, so nice and asks you so many times if you're doing okay, and he keeps saying, you should not feel anything. If you feel any bit of this, you need to raise your hand, and I will figure it out. Mm -hmm. And so that was like really reassuring. But you know, a crown is a big deal. Yeah. And I was sort of unprepared for how big of a deal it was because he, even though he told me 15 times what I was going to go through, mm -hmm. like they drill your tooth down to nothing. And then you, this is why kids, you should brush and floss and don't clench your teeth because kids at home, you don't want to have to get a crown. And Dr. Shamblot will tell you the same thing. I mean, he, he has enough money to go on a vacation. He doesn't need you to get a crown, too. He doesn't want you to get one. <laughs> well, it looks fine. looks nice. Can't yeah, even see. It. It's there. As a womp womp. So I, I have uh, I got the, I got a couple of front teeth that aren't. That, so Are we sharing fake be, teeth stories? There could be a day where these babies right here just can fall out. <laughs> I have a temporary right? crown. It could happen yeah. in the middle of the corn on the cob segment coming up here in about 10 minutes. It was nice of you to say that if you that if my fake, because I, I have a temporary one on until I get the mm -hmm. permanent one in, in two weeks, if that fake one falls out, that you'll rip your teeth out, too, in solidarity. I'll, I'll rip it off right here. And I got just tiny little nubs left. It'll be awesome. <laughs> it was a lot a to blood. handle. Yeah. yeah, okay. What else? You, what, what were you well, doing while I was in the dentist well, chair? While you were in the dentist chair, I was researching this story, which I think is fantastic. And I think everyone's going to love. You remember Bill Cosby? Bill Cosby's my favorite TV And the Cosby TV Show. And, of course, his body of work is so great. But I think one of the things that everyone remembers him from on the Cosby Show yeah. was his fantastic sweaters. And that yes. dance and that face he made. 
My parents look exactly like them. The Jello pudding pop. They do. There's the pudding pop too. Yeah, my yeah. parents talk like that too. I mean, they. My parents, I think, are the Cosbys. I mean, obviously with the ethnicity difference, but other than that, they look was, exactly the same. So your dad was rocking those sweaters. Like he had, that? yeah, the sweaters, and he like so many of the same facial expressions from both of them. Did and like Claire Huxtable has the big beaming smile. My mom totally has that. Mm -hmm. People think I'm crazy when I say that, yeah. but I'm. Hey, Mike. Were you or, it's not crazy. Were you Rudy or which one were you? Whichever one was the nicest. Okay. Um, I don't know. Vanessa. And yeah, then, she was. Anyway, uh, I think the point of this was, oh yeah, uh, Bill Cosby's having a sweater tournament. It's just a, like a March Madness NCAA okay, bracket cool. type tournament. This has been going on for a while. I guess it's running down to the end now. Because I saw it kind of at the beginning and it, um, and it was really funny that you got to pick the actual sweater that mm -hmm. you like the best, right? Yeah, the deal is it's coming down here to the, you see the, it's coming down to the wire here. There's a day, 22 hours and, and six minutes or some such thing left. Before yeah. Before you can get back on it again. Yeah. And this is huge. You know what you win if you win this? A sweater? A signed copy of one of his books. Uh, well, that's it? Bill. <laughs> no pudding pops? Oh, it's fun. I'm not, no sweater? No. Yeah. No, you should win something bigger than that. We give out amazing prizes all the time on this show. Hey, I'm not gonna. I'm not here to challenge Bill Cosby. Challenge, Bill. Give, give out a better pudding pop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had no intention of doing that. Hey, uh, oh there was gosh. something. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to show you this. There was something you guys did on the radio today that was clearly well, more funny than what I just did. We posted this on um, the Marjorie and Elizabeth show page on mytalk1071.com, and I thought it was so funny and it is this celebrity face swap okay so what some very creative people did is they took photos of celebrities that are sometimes they're in movie scenes sometimes mm -hmm. they're on the red carpet whatever mm -hmm. and they swapped their faces pour a hemp low, my friends take a look um daniel craig oh god judy dench <laughs> and this is from the latest james bond movie i mean it's wow. hilarious and it goes on look there's more this is emma watson this is the harry potter kids <laughs> see <laughs> Hermione and um, what's the redheaded kid's name in, in, oh, and Ron, yeah. Okay, and then look at this one. If you like a Twilight, do you like Kristen Stewart and Robert <laughs> Hey, that's that Clay Aiken guy. <laughs> I know, it's so funny. And then here we've got one more to show, and uh, this is maybe your favorite. Oh, oh God. <laughs> no. Oh. We haven't oh seen that God, yet. Oh my God, I can't breathe. Oh God, I'm gonna have a horrible nightmare. Can we see that it tonight. one more time? My face is turning red. That. <laughs> I had that haircut once in the 70s. By the way, and you look a little like uh, Sinead O'Connor. <laughs> you actually look like uh, Judy Dench there a little bit. Wow, that was really disturbing. Uh, we will never show you that again. Just I... one more time. Come on, it's really funny. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. Man. Oh boy! Oh, oh, God! <laughs> hey, uh, did you see this in China? I would make an ugly Chris Eggert. <laughs> this is not good. Um, so this happened in China. We wanted to show you this because I think it opens up an interesting question about would you swim in this? So this is in Wait, China. Wait, what? It's a lawn. There is a no. That's the that's the sea. That right there the is sea. a giant beach. No, no look way. on the left. There's people there on oh, a beach. Oh yeah, I see. This giant algae bloom has just taken off all over the beaches here in China. This is risky behavior. So it's sea lettuce. It doesn't really hurt you. It Can smells you it? like it smells like rotten eggs. Ew. Um, would you? No. Or how hot would you have to be? No. To go in and swim in that? No. I mean, it would be fun, right? No, I get creeped out when weeds in lakes um, touch me I on my toes. Too. I just do, and I, I know it's wimpy because I've grown up in Minnesota, and right? I like our northern lakes. I just don't like weeds, and I don't like muck in particular. I'm like afraid of muck. I've had friends get chiggers and all that in yeah. mucky areas. Blech. So you're not doing the, you're not taking a dive there. In the I mean, unless they lettuce? could, they would say something like, "This has an amazing anti-aging effect on your skin." I don't think that was. Spend 20 minutes in it, and then I'd be like, "I'll spend 25." It smelled like rotten eggs. Was kind of the best thing it had going for That's it. It's disgusting. Well, if you are going to go swimming in the Lawn Lake there in China, you might want a pair of TCL sunglasses, mm -hmm. and you can pick them up at any of our summer events. You're going to need them to win a trip for two to anywhere in the continental United States from Delta Vacations, and then we're featuring a photo on our show every day. So if we pick yours, you win that coveted TCL t-shirt. Whose is today's? Well, today's from? winner is oh, Devonna Deshaw from Lake Elmo, and she's kissing this fish. You might recognize this, driven by this 
In the Detroit I've never Lakes heard area, of this. They, they call this a city, the sunfish capital of the world. So there she goes. Oh, wow. uh, and one of the places that you'll get one of these snazzy pairs of sunglasses this Wednesday night at Patio Palooza. Yes. And we have two locations this week. This oh, is huge. This is going to be really fun. You can come hang out with me at the 5 8 Club in Maplewood from 5 to 7 p.m. Or if you know you're more of a western suburbs kind of a person, you can go see Chris at the 5 8 Club in Champlin. Chris, you want to FaceTime with me when we're there? Yeah, we yeah. could do a FaceTime. You could also come see me for a bit and then go see Chris. But either way, you're going to get a pair of TCL sunglasses and you can register to win prizes, including scratch off tickets from the Minnesota State Lottery. You could win up to a hundred thousand dollars instantly with the new dogs playing poker scratch off game and let me tell you if you're going to go down the juicy lucy road and you want to just go for it the five eight club is i'm going down do the it. juicy lucy oh road. It's so good and i'm going to wave at people like that hey when I'm, I'm on the, the juicy road. lucy road nice to see you north in Min northern minnesota maybe you have that. like no maybe if you're having a juicy lucy it's like it's like that you're holding that's a good one thanks just came up with that. Hey, coming up next, see Joseph in the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat for half the price. The hilarity will continue. And Emily has some high-flying fun. We're 200 feet above the ground, and you have stunning views, and it's right here in Minnesota. I'm going to show you that coming up next.